To write the formula for sodium sulfate decahydrate, we'll break this down into two parts. First, we'll name the sodium sulfate, and then we'll name the decahydrate. So for sodium sulfate on the periodic table, the symbol for sodium, that's Na. For sulfate, this ATE, that means we have a polyatomic ion. We won't find that on the periodic table. We've either memorized that it's SO4 2 minus, or if we're allowed, we look that up. So the sulfate, SO4, and that's 2 minus. This is a great one to remember. On the periodic table, sodium's in group 1, so it'll have a 1 plus ionic charge. And because sodium sulfate here, it's a neutral compound. It doesn't say sodium sulfate ion. It's just sodium sulfate. These charges, they have to balance. So we can see that we have the 1 plus here for the sodium, and the whole sulfate, this SO4, is 2 minus. So we need two of these sodium atoms for this all to add up to 0, for the charges to add up to 0 and have a net charge of 0. 2 times 1 plus, that's 2 plus, 2 minus. So this is sodium sulfate. Let me get rid of these symbols here. And now we need to figure out the decahydrate. Well, hydrate, that sounds like being hydrated. So this is water. Deca is 10. So this means there are 10 water molecules around the sodium sulfate. And we show that by writing a dot here and then putting 10H2O. So this is the formula for sodium sulfate decahydrate. So you can think about this as you have this sodium sulfate here and you have 10 water molecules around it. This is considered the hydrate. If you heat this up, these 10 water molecules, they'll leave, and then you'll just have Na2SO4, sodium sulfate. Sometimes we call that anhydrous sodium sulfate because it doesn't have water molecules around it. This is Dr. B with the formula for sodium sulfate decahydrate. Thanks for watching.